JSOX released another Steam Deck docking station a while back, one that makes it rather unique. This special dock comes with an M.2 SSD slot on the back of it, so you can load it up with more built-in storage. JSOX sent this dock over to me, along with a 2TB NVMe SSD for me to give it a test run. Now to be clear, I've had this for a couple of weeks now, and honestly I have come to love it. This is hands down the best dock for those of you who do a lot of Steam Deck gaming while docked because the M.2 slot is just so incredibly useful to have around. No messing around with opening your Steam Deck to expand the SSD needed with this. The dock itself comes with the USB-C power delivery slot so you can plug your charger directly in. There's HDMI 2.0 and two USB 3.1a slots on the back, as well as gigabit ethernet on the side. Although I'm not really a fan of ethernet being on the side, I wish they would stop doing that. It's quite annoying, it makes a wire stick out, you can't really ignore it sticking out. I wish they would put it on the back. But apart from that, I don't really have any major qualms with it. Installing the actual SSD is easy enough. We just pop off the lid using the little slots on the side, Stick in the SSD, which you can't really do wrong, and then put in the little squishy pin to keep it securely down, and then you can put on the little heat pad that they provide with it as well, and then just push the lid back on. As far as the hardware side, that's it done. Another point I did want to show is that like the previous JSOX docks before it, the intake on the back is covered up a little bit. To be clear on this though, as people keep repeatedly getting this wrong in various comments, this is an intake, not an external heat vent. It's sucking air in, and even with a little bit covered, it works fine. The temperatures have never been a problem with it. Now where this gets more complicated is the actual software setup. To be fair, this issue is not down to JSOX, but an issue with Valve, because the Steam Deck was technically only designed for the SD card slot, not for external drives as well. For starters, you need to wipe the pre-made partition on your SSD, which would usually come with NTFS for Windows. To do this though, we need to set a desktop password, so you need to open the console terminal app, enter in the pass wd command and follow the instructions. You won't see a password being entered, which is perfectly normal, it's a security measure, but it is working, just keep doing it, press enter, and do it again. Once you've got your password done, we will load up the KDE Partition Manager, enter our password, and ensure we are selecting the correct drive from the list on the left. Now you can delete the NTFS partition, create a new extension for partition, and give it a label like external, so you know exactly what it is. When ready, hit apply, wait for it to finish, and then the drive is ready to be configured. This next step is a bit more annoying, and this, again, the Steam Deck is not designed to work easily with external drives out of the box. JSOX do have a script to help with this at the bottom of their product page, but I'm going to show you a full way to do it. For this, we're going to use the excellent auto-mounting script from Scorp, which JSOX actually based theirs on, and a link will be in the description. For this, you just copy the install line from their GitHub page into a console terminal and follow the instructions. It's all straightforward. And what it will do is it will add a drive with the label you gave it, or drive ID if you didn't label it, into the run media deck location, and then it should be mostly ready to use. It will also give you the option to add Z-mount to your Steam library, which is a tool to easily unmount the drive if needed in game mode. As a test here, what I've done is I've now rebooted the entire deck completely, loaded back into desktop mode, and I haven't done anything else. To show you, I'm going to load the file manager, and it is right there and ready. A problem that we have though is, as you can see, we can't actually make any folders or anything in it. That's because we need to give it permissions on the folder. To do that, we load up console terminal and enter in sudo chown deck. And then we can just copy the drive folder over so it gives us the full location. Hit enter, enter your password. And now 
you have the permissions on that folder and you can do anything you want with that external drive. We do need to make a Steam folder, otherwise Steam will complain that the drive is not empty and it can't use it. Once done, inside Steam, just go into Settings, Downloads and select our new folder. If Steam doesn't auto-detect it, you can add it manually by just going into the Run Media Deck External location and just select it there. It's a little fiddly as you need to go back through the directory structure, but it's easy enough to find inside Run Media Deck and then select your drive and the Steam folder, which again, you only need to do if Steam doesn't detect the new drive automatically here. I'm setting it as a default here too, just to ease a quick game install to show you in a moment. Now, back over in gaming mode, we can clearly see here that the drive is available. So I'm going to go over to The Walking Dead I picked up recently and give it an install and then show you that it's installed on the drive and then load it. And what you will see is that the game just works. The loading time is great. And yeah, it's just it's working rather nicely as expected. Now, as I said before, I've had this for a few weeks now. I've probably had it longer than most people, I believe, from when JSOC sent it out before release. And I've not really had any problems with it other than the initial lengthy setup. And I'm hoping Valve will improve external drives in future Steam Deck software updates. This has become easily my favorite Steam Deck docking station as I play quite a lot while docked and having that expanded storage for some of the bigger games is quite necessary to stop you removing other bigger games that you also play to make room. Honestly, JSOX here have just made a quality product. If you are after a dock that gives you extra storage options, this is a damn fine choice. I will happily recommend it, and a link to buy it will be in the description.